And here I am just below Oak Falls at Englewood Preserve near Dayton, Ohio. And boy, I'll tell you what, this is a massive, massive oak tree here. This has got to be five feet in diameter. And this has been here as long as any of the European settlers. And it's right next to the trail. You can see my hiking pole there. That's a three foot pole. And this tree is wider than that. I've posted the map on the tree. Got it tucked underneath one of the plates of bark. So this has got platy bark and not um, furrowed bark, at least not on this side of the tree. And I'll zoom in. There's a little black dot there right below Oak Falls. That's where this tree is. You can't miss it. It's right next to the trail. And it's worth seeing. And are the Oak Falls. So this is what's called a chinkapin oak. I didn't know they got this big, but this one is a chinkapin and it's huge. And it resembles a white oak in the color of the bark and the texture of the bark. Except the leaves are oval shaped with just little waves around the edge. And the white oak, if I can find one today, I will compare the two leaves. I'm gonna hold on to this leaf, put it under my ball cap. And if I can't find one today, I'll do a comparison shortly because the bark resembles a white oak in the winter time. I'm not sure if I could tell them apart myself without getting into further detail. But this thing is hundreds of years old. It's got a massive crown that goes in all directions. So that indicates that this area probably was farmed at one time, but this tree when it was never felled and the pasture land was here and the uh, animals grazed around this tree. To have a crown this wide, it had to have had um, open land around it. Trees don't grow that wide at the top if it's in a deep forest. Now, chinkapin oak is a specialist. It only grows in limestone soils, either directly above a limestone ledge or very close to a limestone ledge. And a white oak, which it resembles, grows in all types of habitats as long as the soil is deep and fairly moist. But this one is a specialist. It is close cousins to the chestnut oak, but has opposite requ habitat requirements. It grows in soils that are on the basic side of the pH scale, and the chestnut oak is on the acid side of the pH scale. So they're kind of like cousins, but one is the yin and one is the yang. So they s serve different purposes in nature and can fill different niches. But the oak, the chestnut oak, and the chinkapin oak leaves are very similar. I would not find them both on the same trail, so I can't do a comparison in that way.